Hello and welcome to another decoupage tutorial. Hi, I am Veronica and today we're going to do a cute gnome teardrop ornament. I do hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial and I will be posting uh, two more tutorials with this cute gnome as well. So let's get started. First, I chose a styrofoam teardrop then i sent off any imperfections and then i painted it twice with white paint of course let it dry between each layer i had this uh, gnome image printed on rice paper and i am cutting it out with water pen uh, of course you can just use small brush and water if you don't have water pen i don't cut my images with scissors then i am tearing up the image in few places so it will fit better onto the teardrop itself i am applying small amount of decoupage glue onto the teardrop ornament itself and then putting on the gnome image and after sealing it with more decoupage glue make sure you don't leave any excess of the glue because it will dry up white not clear as you can see i am seeing here a wrinkle forming so i am taking my scissors and cutting a little bit inside the paper to make sure the wrinkle is gone I let it dry before painting it. These are the paints I chose. Of course, you can choose paints that will suit your image. I am painting the half of the teardrop ornament. As you can see, I do go inside the rice paper as well for better blending. All materials I use will be listed in description box below. If I cannot find the same exact material I use, I will be putting something similar to it. Of course, if you have any questions about what I use, just comment and I will be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. After these paints are dry, I am applying dots with a little brush and water. Then I am using my glitter decoupage glue. If you don't have it, you can skip this step but I like to put a little bit of shimmer onto my ornaments. Then it is time to seal our gnome image. So I am using pouring glaze. I am applying four to five layers of it. Let it dry between each layer. The other side of the teardrop, I will be decorating with air drying clay, some stems and molds as well. First, roll out your clay to the size it will fit onto the ornament. Then, go ahead and press the stamp image onto the clay itself. Make sure you apply a good amount of pressure so you get the design onto the clay itself. Then it's time to glue it onto the ornament. I am using Express Glue from Pentart and after applying onto the ornament, I am cutting off any excess of the clay that there will be. On 
On the sides of the ornament, I use mold and I am applying this border, this decorative border onto the ornament itself. Of, of course, gluing it with Express Glue from Pentart. I'm gonna put a little saying onto the ornament itself. So I am just pressing a little bit of the clay. Then I am pressing the stamp onto the clay, making sure the saying is readable. And then I am gluing it on the ornament itself, making sure I don't ruin the saying by gluing it, it onto the ornament. I also decided to put a little clay bow on the top of the ornament and after that I let the whole image dry before painting. These are the paints I used. Of course, again, you can use whatever paints you want. So I am applying the paints on the ornament itself. This is why I like to make sure my clay is dry so I don't ruin the design of it and then I am wiping off with wet towel any excess of the paint I might have. If you don't like to make your own ornaments and you just want to buy them, I do have an Etsy shop where you can see all the ornaments I do have available. If you don't see anything you like, just message me and I can do any custom style ornament you want. The link to my Etsy shop will be listed in the description box below as well. So I will be more than happy if you come and check out my store. If you like this kind of tutorials, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more of any style of decoupage ornaments and other decor which will be coming now in this year. After the paint is dry, I am sealing it with matte varnish. Of course, you can use glossy varnish as well. The varnish is water-based. And of course, I am applying it only onto the clay part of the ornament. For a little bit of shimmer, I am applying small amount of wax paste onto the clay part of the ornament. The last step for me is to put ribbon on top of the ornament. Of course, you can skip this step if you don't like to put ribbon on your ornament. It's fully optional.
and here they are all finished my three cute gnome ornaments of course each of them will be on my youtube channel soon so stay tuned for it thank you so much for watching if you like this tutorial please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please give me a thumbs up or comment it will mean a lot to me until next time bye